Hello friends, today we are here to discuss about the all the topics related to AFO interview. I have divided these topics into three topics, general, banking and agriculture. Here I will cover 90 to 100 percent of the questions that are asked in AFO interview. So please follow us guys. So here the topics I have divided into three topics, general, banking and agriculture. So here the general in general i will cover about what type of general questions that are asked in interview and how to present the present in interview and what are the sitting postures and how to dress and everything in banking i will cover almost everything that can be asked in a for interview about um, which type of banks what type of banks and uh, current issues and everything in agriculture as we know all the topics I will cover about the agriculture and next slide. So first here come the general topic. So first dressing. Dressing is very important during the interview. So dressing should be formal. Okay. Then the formal should be like uh, don't wear so thick colors. You should be light and smart colors like a blue shirt, blue shirt and uh, nice nicely packed no, no sleeves rolled on then wear the shoes that are black or brown don't wear color colored and color shoes okay then second point eye to eye contact when you are answering if you answer anything just you must do eye contact with the interviewer then you will have good good impression on the interviewer okay then sitting posture so third one is the sitting posture don't move like the like uh, normal you are sitting in a park or everything just sit straight and answer to the question very confidently then how to enter just uh, just uh, watch some videos in uh, youtube you will get how to enter into the interview okay then introduction if he asks for introduce yourself you should introduce yourself as um, actually when he has introduced yourself, you should start with your name and what's your father doing and what's now you are doing and what are your aims and goals. Next. So these are the main questions and the regular questions that are asked in interview. Your date of birth and importance. Actually, if you tell your date of birth and if your date of birth has any importance, they will ask about the importance of your date of birth and uh, if any freedom fighter or some great persons born in your date of birth will have <coughs> or you should know about them and this is the most important one read the newspaper on the date of the interview any interview date like 23 24 25 26 27 you should read the current uh, current day newspaper and you should be thorough with that newspaper they may 99 percent they will ask about the newspaper then interview day importance okay this is also the main thing and uh, in on your interview date if you if uh, there is something special like some science day anything so you know about, you better know about that day okay like uh, if you read the newspaper you will cover all these things and next chief ministers of the recent states actually before uh, three to four months um, the elections are held in the north side and you have to know about the chief ministers after the election next current mp or mla at your area okay these are the basic things that are asked in the interview next they will ask the question why do you choose the bank so you have to say like uh, it is a very secured job and uh, there will be challenges like uh, actually we are from agriculture background and that's why it is related to you and it's your interest to do and uh, it is a very fast growing sector as bank is a very fast growing sector you have selected this bank sector you have to say that what are you doing now if there is a gap between your graduation and um, the interview is so long you have to say that you are doing the small jobs for uh, your family like that 
otherwise if you have long gap like one or two years you should not tell i am keep on preparing for banks that you have to say that uh, i have done small small jobs for uh, family and like that it will make some good good impression to the interviewer and what do you know about the bank so if they ask about what do you know about the bank you should be confidently say that banking sector is a very uh, very growing rapid growing sector like that something you have to say about the bank and the greatness of the bank uh, like uh, i have told you here like how why you choose the bank and ibps expansion this is the basic question you can face in the interview ibps means you already know <coughs> and um, ministries of the central and the state so this is the basic question they will ask so you should be thorough with the uh, banking current affairs and uh, the day uh, the day uh, the previous day newspaper and everything so okay next why do you prefer jampa i already covered should be okay then if they ask any question it should be very brief okay it should be very brief they, you should not elaborate and you should not explain like eight marks question you should tell only like two marks question okay so it, there should be gunshot answer okay then don't argue okay don't uh, if you know something about the answer if they try to correct it don't argue with them you said okay sir yes sir okay uh, i don't know sorry like that you have to tell so you know you have already cleared the prelims and mains that means you have already have the knowledge about the agriculture okay so it's just a test of personality there will be five members in the normally there are five members in the panel so one will be psychologist and another will be bank person one will be from agriculture so another will be like so there are different persons so psychology person will observe you what are you how you have entered and how you are answering okay don't shake okay then uh, be confident okay then pg thesis if you have done msc agriculture so you know everything about pg thesis so you can tell about your pg thesis and uh, so you know everything about your pg thesis right so you can uh, tell everything about pg thesis and uh, you may be asked for this next so here comes our second topic banking here i have covered everything and almost everything that can be asked for our agriculture students okay so actually banking bank sector so there are 27 public sector banks and 20 nationalized banks including idba and 57 rrb banks so we are morely focused about rrbs as we are from agriculture so uh, rrbs uh, they can stress about rrbs and the local rrbs in your state or in your area so these are 93 commercial bank and see how these how the banks are divided so scheduled banks are divided into commercial banks and cooperative banks and they will mostly ask about the what are the public sector banks you know and private sector banks you know okay and rrbs i will cover all these topics in this presentation and so these are the list of the top 10 private banks in india according to rbi okay so top 10 will be given by uh, the number of uh, so amount they are carrying and uh, these are the top 10 banks like first one is the hdfc and icici next axis kotak mahindra bank s bank federal bank indusind bank rbl bank karur vasya bank bandhan bank so these are done according to according to the rba like uh, so the cash flow between the blanks and uh, the slr are repo rate reverse repo rate. on all the basis they will take the top 10 private banks then so here we see this is very important question actually when you choose uh, <coughs> you have chosen the banks based on your priority and they will ask everything about the bank headquarters and the taglines okay you should be prepared with the priority of the banks so if you kept the first bank as your one one bank as your priority you have to know everything about the bank because they will ask about everything uh, you know about that bank so the priority banks kept by you in during the application so coming to public and also about the symbols okay so be prepared with these symbols also okay they will ask about the symbols and sometimes meaning of the symbols okay so 
so with this and you have to mug up all this like uh, where are the headquarters and what are the and what are the symbols that are used then these are the uh, headquarters and the taglines so next this is the very important uh, topic we should be thorough okay regional rural banks are scheduled commercial banks okay so regional rural banks are not mainly for uh, so it is mainly for the welfare of the rural people and the farmers so it is for uh, rural and semi urban people so these banks mainly focus on the agriculture so see carrying out of the government operations like disbursement of the wages of the mahatma gandhi national rural employment generation act okay so this is also very important and distribution of the pensions okay providing para banking facilities like locker facilities debit and credit cards to the rural and semi urban people so this is a very small financial bank so regional rural banks are funded by some bank, uh, public sector banks like these are the funded ba funded banks okay these are <coughs> these are funded in the ratio uh, these are uh, funded by the state and central government and the <coughs> sponsoring ba banks in uh, different ratios i will tell in slide so <coughs> prathama bank so they normally they will ask which is the first regional uh, first where where was the first rrb established this is the first uh, first rrb that has been created that is pradama bank that was established in 2nd october 1975 with the head office is at moradabad this is the present in uttar pradesh then see 1997 the, so you should read all this next the services of the so so this is also very important question the service of rrb are not available in the states of goa and sikkim this is very important points in many interviews this question has been asked and uh, they are also not available in the union territories also then so you can re uh, read all this so uttar pradesh has the highest number of the 36 rrbs and uh, followed by madhya pradesh with 19 and bihar with 16 rrbs so this regional rural banks still have they have branches see in terms of the branch network uttar pradesh is again at the top of 2850 branches okay these 36 rrb banks have 2850 branches then followed by bihar 1487 and andhra pradesh 1124 branches are present in andhra pradesh so don't get confused like highest number of the rrbs and the highest number of the branches so the lowest number of the branches has been found in nagaland with nine only nine rrb branches are present in nagaland as it is a very small country uh, small state sorry next so these are the <coughs> rrbs of various state so you should be thorough with the what are the gramina banks or rrbs present in your state see so um as i am from andhra pradesh I will tell that there are three banks from Andhra Pradesh. Okay, so sponsor bank of this uh, Andhra Pradesh Gramina Bank is uh, State Bank of India. It is in Andhra Pradesh. So and then Andhra Pragati Gramina Bank. It is uh, sponsored by Syndicate Bank. So it is in Andhra Pradesh. Like every state student that they are going to interview must be thorough about the what are the RRBs present in their local area. Okay. So you should read all this oh, depends on your state. These are so here there are 11. So you can see as I said on the bank. So you should be know about uh, in your district. What is the lead RRB bank that is present? So in your district it uh, RRBs will depend upon the districts also. Next you have to read all this. Um, just make a screenshot and uh, you should uh, thoroughly revise about your state rrbs next these are some of the banks so you must be very thorough about the uh, sponsored bank and the and the sponsored bank in your districts 
So if you search in Google, you you can get it. So after this, so actually I have shown, uh, told that uh, Pradama Bank. This is the first RRB that is sponsored by Syndicate Bank that is present in Uttar Pradesh. And you can see. So you have to no, you just make a screenshot of this, and you get thorough with your RRB in your local area. So there are 56 banks, 56 RRB. Okay. So here comes the banking terms. As we all know that uh, banking terms will be asked by the um, interviewer. So I already told that uh, the committee has one banker, one psychologist, one agriculture specialist, and everything. So here comes the important banking terms that are regularly asked, and it will be 99.99 percent. The repo rate is always greater than the reverse repo set, and uh, the increase and decrease are very parallel. Okay. Uh, if uh, repo rate increases reverse repo rate also increases and uh, if repo rate decreases uh, reverse repo rate also decreases next non performing assets so if the interviewer ask you about the what are the problems in the banking you should say that non performing assets so non performing assets means if you take a loan okay if you take a loan by keeping some security and if you don't pay the loan up to 90 days so thus assets is known as the non-performing assets okay then if you don't pay any interest or any loan on that 90 days okay it is called as non-performing assets so as banks are uh, normally depend on the interest on the loans that you uh, interest of the loans you pay if you don't give the interest to the bank so that uh, assets will become non-performing assets it will make a huge loss to the bank okay so these are known as non-performing assets. So normally it is the question. Normally it is asked in the bank to you see bank usually classify as non-performing assets. Any commercial loans which are more than 90 days overdue. Okay. Overdue is what I said uh, without paying the interest for 90 days. Okay. Next cash reserve ratio. Okay. Cash reserve ratio. Every bank maintains certain percent of the total deposits with RBI in the form of cash and net demand and time liabilities. Okay, cash reserve ratio. These are the ratio. See CRR now current CRR is 4%. So the 4% if SBI has, uh, for example, I will tell, uh, tell if SBI have 100 crores money, it should keep 4 crores with the RBI. So it should be for safe and security of the bank. It is known as cash reserve ratio every bank has to pay amount to the rbi and every 15 days so after every 15 days so after the all the debts and the, all the transactions for every 15 days the four percent of the transaction should be given to the rbi and should be kept with the rbi next bank rate. bank rate bank rate is also termed as a discount rate so the rate through which rbi charges certain percent for providing money to other banks without any security okay so here RBI is giving money without security. Okay, don't get confused with the repo rate. Okay, so this is bank rate. This is given without security. So for a long period time of 90 days. Okay, up to only 90 days. Current bank rate is 6.75. So don't get confused with the repo rate. Okay. Next, CASA account. This is very accurate. You all know you are very familiar with this. Casa, but when we this question is asked in interview, you can't say what is Casa. You don't because you don't know Casa. Because Casa is current account and the saving account. As you all use the banks, you all know current account and the savings account. You better know differences between the current account and the saving account. So the major difference is in saving accounts, you will get the interest. Okay, you will get interest. Normally, we all have saving accounts current accounts for is for business people okay they will not get interest here okay so the casa ratio displays the value of the deposits maintained in a bank in the form of current and saving accounts deposit in the total deposit okay the higher casa ratio means the better operation efficiency of the bank okay current uh, casa ratio should be higher if casa ratio is higher and the bank is better okay Next AEPS. So 
this is the regular question and this is like the current affairs question this is in newly implemented before one hour one and a half year okay other enabled payment system it is not familiar uh, in our areas but a other enabled payment system is the uh, it is like uh, without card without card transaction if uh, we go to atm we will keep card na? Um, but in this other enabled payment system you have the amount will be given by your other number and with the thumb thumb or retinal scan by you so see aaps is a bank led model which allows online interruptible financial transaction at point of scale through the business correspondence bank mitra of any bank using the other authentication so other authentication is actually during the other you all know they will take every single detail of us like a uh, iris scanner and thumbprint impression okay so in this other enabled payment system the you can get money <coughs> with your retinal scan and thumb impression and with your only other number without carrying any cards okay next balance sheet actually you all know this in agriculture we have studied about the balance sheet so it is the statement of the assets liabilities and the capital of the business or other organization at a particular point in the time okay balance sheet so balance sheet is normally prepared by what is the amount we have spent and what we are getting and what we are in profits or losses we are we should we will know about all things in this balance sheet next inflation rate okay this is a so there are two terms like inflation and deflation okay inflation is uh, so for easy understanding i will say one example like uh, uh, see if inflation the rate at which the prices increase over time resulting in fall of the purchasing value of the money so for easy understanding i will say so if the dollar rate increased if uh, if the dollar rate is becoming 72 rupees so our currency will be uh, the currency value will be decreased so it is like inflation rate okay here rate at which price increases so here price increases means so our goods uh, the supply has been decreased okay but in deflation <coughs> prices are decreased due to the higher higher supply of the goods so you should better know about the inflation and the deflation rates in the neft <coughs> the money will be given as the bad two lakhs but in rtgs minimum amount is two lakhs all this uh, immediate payment which is also from the npci next national finance yes so this is as simple as you know if um, you are a customer of the sbi bank and uh, if you go to axis bank atm you will get money from the axis bank atm so between these there will be the national financial switch okay if you transact money if you go to atm if you go to Axis Bank ATM and you are holding an SBI card, then you can get the money in the Axis Bank by National Financial Switch. If you enter the enter your uh, details in ATM, so this switch should be open to get your money from the SBI <coughs> protocol. Okay. See, National Financial Switch is the largest network of shared automated teller machines (ATMs) in India. It was designed developed and developed by the institute of development and research in banking technology okay in 2004 with the goal of interconnecting the atms in the country and facilitating convenience banking it is run by the national payment corporation of india okay so as i said uh, you as you know um, so if you are uh, holder of uh, some bank you can take money from any bank this is possible by only this national financial switch okay uh, you are getting charged with this um, you are that next priority sector lending so priority sector lending means so rba has set some rules to give to allocate some of the amount uh, that the bank lends to some sectors like uh, agriculture and uh, small businesses and uh, education loan house loan and everything so some percentage of the uh, amount should be kept for some purpose it is called as priority sector lending so priority sector lending is an important role given by the reserve bank of india to the banks for providing a specific portion of the bank lending to 
few specific sectors like uh, agriculture and allied activities and micro and small enterprises poor people offer housing students for education and other low income groups and weaker sections this is essentially meant for an all round development of the economy as opposed to focusing only on the financial sector so by this every bank uh, you can see now everyone calling sir if you need bank loan and uh, yeah, bank loan for house for education so they are giving for everything because it is a priority sector lending that is set uh, that are the rules set by the rba to give allocate some money to some priority sectors okay next next uh, let's come to reserve bank of india this is the apex organization okay uh, uh, RBA is the head bank and the central bank of the India. It is the central bank of the India. Uh, it, it was established in 1935 and um, it is uh, the headquarters is in Mumbai. It's very important. And this is very important. Governor and Deputy Governor of RBA. So this is the regular question and it is very most important, a very important question that is asked in interview. Now the governor is. Uh, Shakti Kanta Das and Deputy Governor is MK Jain. So these are the questions normally asked. So functions of the RBI. So if interviewer asks you question about the what are the functions of the RBI, you should say you should be thorough about the uh, you should say that uh, monetary policy and issuer of the currency. So the, our currency like notes, coins and everything, uh, these are uh, issued by the RBI and banked and debt manager to the government of india okay banker to the banks okay so as we said uh, if the if our banks has low money it will give money to the localized banks and the public and private uh, public banks and so here manager of the foreign exchange and uh, regulator and supervisor of payment and settlement system and development and main many maintaining financial stability so may so we all studied earlier like the maintaining financial stability by a current reserve ratio current reserve ratio and uh, rep giving the loans to the bank to with the repo rate and um, sometimes keeping the money of the banks if they have access with the reverse repo rate and everything these are the functions of rbi so these are some type of the questions uh, like um, type of accounts see you can see uh, there are two type of time deposits and demand deposits so time deposits are fixed deposits you all know this fds so these are the term, term time deposits okay you will keep uh, fixed deposits you will get uh, 7 to 10 percent uh, of interest uh, for a certain period of one or two years we can renew it uh, after uh, the prior period okay you all know about the fixed deposits and reinvestment deposits and recurring deposits uh, so demand deposits demand deposits are of two types i already discussed in the previous uh, slides uh, like uh, these are current accounts and the savings accounts are present and what is a term deposit uh, it is a simple question it will be asked a term deposit is a fixed term deposit held at a financial institution they are generally short term deposit with maturities ranging anywhere from a month to a few years it is also like a fixed deposit fds you all know that okay what is plastic money so you all know this plastic money plastic money is the cards the credit or debit cards that you are using you know your is called as plastic money so when we use any type of the atm card for the transaction at the place of hard cash this card is known as a plastic money and the transaction result from it is called cashless payment okay so we are now using all cards like visa cards master cards and rupee cards so you all know this right so now we will discuss about the different so rupee card rupee card is prepared in india okay this is very important point so they will ask uh, you about what is special in rupee card okay so it will it is introduced in indian payment system and uh, now all the banks like sba and all banks are uh, uh, so they are distributing rupee cards because it has less transaction charges okay it has less transaction charges and so we can see here some important points like uh, so visa and mastercards uh, they are the foreign companies foreign company cards okay 
and their commission is also have as rupee card is from india so we will have the less commissions okay we will have the less commission and the less gateway charges okay you know do you know all the major public sector banks including sbi have started issuing rupee cards and now you can see like uh, if you are if you guys are getting any fees reimbursement and everything now they are getting rupee cards because <clears throat> it is very important um, it is important to know that the commission is less and uh, it is a domestic card okay we cannot use it internationally and we can use visa and master cards in uh, international use so i already discussed about the visa and the master card so these are the foreign payment gateway that provides payment facility to most of the banks in the world okay we can use these cards visa and master cards uh, there is uh, there is no much difference between the visa and master cards okay uh, but the commission is high when compared to rupee cards okay then you just study all this so here i discuss difference between the rupee card and master card rupee card is indian domestic card whereas visa and master card is international card system the main difference of a rupee and master cards is like operating cost i already told that rupee has a, the rupee card gateway has less commission at is domestic and uh, this uh, these cards are uh, visa and master cards have uh, higher commission gateway charges okay and uh, one of the important uh, issue is uh, issue is like um, so it depends on security also in if visa and uh, visa and master cards are of international use and uh, our data is not secured but rupee is domestic and uh, it is uh, concise to only india okay so our data is very secured here so this is a uh, this is the banking sector current affairs the 99.99 percent these are all the questions asked in the banking interview for an agriculture student uh, they will not go beyond this in our next in my next video that is releasing tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will explain everything about the agriculture section okay agriculture section i will cover all the agriculture questions that can be asked in a4 interview so please like us please follow us and subscribe please click the notification bell here thank you